Hey y'all, it's Brandon from Voodoo Forge. Now, every so often, well pretty regular, it comes up on social media, somebody will post a picture of some cylinders, some, some pressurized cylinders, and they'll be like, hey, I got some of these, what's a good thing to do with these? Now, these are in welding groups or scrap metal art groups or, or things like that, uh, some blacksmithing groups. It pops up and somebody always suggests you know uh, you know make make some bells out of them or wind chimes or mailboxes or smokers or something like that and these are all good ideas for certain kind of tanks but what I find interesting is how many guys who are supposedly in the trades don't know the difference between acetylene tanks and everything else you see, you've got acetylene tanks, which are one way. That way is completely full of stuff. All right, and then you've got tanks for everything else, which includes, but is not limited to, oxygen, CO2, uh, argon, uh, nitrous oxide, nitrogen, you know, and, and the list goes on. So you've got those tanks, and then you have acetylene tanks. There's a difference between the two. Let me show you so you will know. Okay, here are your two main kind of tanks. This is an unsettling tank and this is a everything else tank. Uh, this just so happens to be shielding gas, but this is the same kind of tank that oxygen goes in, CO2, nitrous oxide, um, nitrogen, uh, and anything else, you know, that, that that goes in these tanks. This is an unsettling tank. Right away you should be able to see that this has a uh, th this this is a this is a more abrupt shoulder than this. This is a more gentle curve here, where this is this is more abrupt. Uh, you see these two bolts right here. It's a dead giveaway. You're dealing with an acetylene tank. Um, also, these will usually be a little larger diameter um, and squattier than the oxygen tank that they go with. I'll, I'll show you my oxygen acetylene rig in a minute, so you can see that. But um, but th th this is what they look like. Um, now it is, um, it is, it is the the entire area inside has a porous material that engulfs the entire area in the tank, and that uh, that allows the acetylene to release at the proper rate. But if you try to cut one of these in half, or if you cut one of these in half, you, you just you can't get that stuff out. Um, I've tried drilling it out, chiseling it out, burning it out, tried everything in the world, and it just doesn't come out. So, it's just no reason to cut these in half. Plus, you've got the danger aspect. Now, I'm going to cut this one in half. Uh, it has a hole. Somebody burned in it with the torch down there. So, I'm not super worried about it. I wouldn't be worried about it anyway cutting it with a bandsaw. Um, but... Uh, and acetylene is a, an acidic material and, and you can get into an old tank that has pockets of acetylene still in it. I'm not saying it's enough to, to blow you up, but it's enough to flare up if you're using a torch and give you some soiled drawers. Now another, another common-ish type of tank is uh, this is a, a like a beverage co2 tank apparently they use the same size for some scuba uh, and it's aluminum the older ones are steel but they're not acetylene tanks you can cut them here's another type of uh, tank that's uh, used for um, self-contained breathing it's aluminum the fiberglass shell. You can see this acetylene tank here has a clear weld at the bottom. You see a lot of that. A lot of them will have a welded ring where they're not made as a spun tank like the other tanks are. Okay, here you can see the height difference in a matched set on an oxyacetylene rig. I'm not sure if you can tell, but the acetylene is fatter and shorter than the oxygen. Short and fat, tall and skinny.
Okay, here it is and here we go. Okay, you can see this is filled with something. This is filled with something, but it ain't coming out, whatever it is. there but still I just don't think it's worth digging out now on the other hand a regular co2 like this one that's cut and you know what's in here nothing absolutely nothing Okay, hopefully that will make a difference next time you decide to jump onto uh, Facebook and uh, tell somebody with an insettling tank that they need to cut it in half to make a smoker. You'll know what's inside of an insettling tank. And you'll know that telling someone to cut one in half to make a smoker is not a good plan. But anyway, hopefully y'all got something out of this. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. And if you like this video, hit the like button. All right, y'all behave yourselves.